he was singing on other nights too, other days too. He, he has a song that said, uh, uh, what can wash away? Oh, I got some church folk in the house. What can wash away my sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. He said, what can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood. And then, listen, if you save and really know the song, as soon as you get to that second clause, something starts happening on the inside. They say, oh, precious is that flow that makes me white as snow. No other flow. I, I wish I had about five people that would have helped me. They know that there's nothing but the blood. You want to know why I'm saved today? Why I'm clean today? It was nothing but the blood. Wait a minute. Can we do a praise break for the blood right there? Is there anybody here that's glad that you've been washed in the blood? That when God sees you, he don't see your foolishness no more. He don't see your mess. But he sees his blood all over your life. Nothing but the blood. You confess your sins. His shed blood will cleanse you. I'm going to up the number. I know there's at least 50 people in here that know about the power of the blood. Not only will it cleanse you, but it'll protect you. I need to feel some churchy folk in here real quick. You was driving down the street or something happened in your life. You didn't know what else to do. But you said the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. Somebody the blood. So I, I want to stop messing with that because I'm going to get off track. Trying to win some... He said, you must be born. Y'all sit down for a second. Push me. He said, not only must you be born of the water. He said, but you must be born of the spirit. And here is the challenge for most of us. Because we don't have the issue with being born of the water. But we have the issue of being born of the spirit. More so, it's not even that we're not born of the spirit, but we don't yield because here's the thing because I know I'm talking to some folk that used to go to church a long time ago you, you, you used to go to church and uh, you tried to live saved you, we used to sing a song I've learned how to live holy and I've learned how to live right I need the person who ever wrote that song to come talk to me because because uh, I'm still trying to figure out how to live holy because here's the thing you, you know, you left church because living saved just got too hard. Oh, Am I in the right church? Living saved, when you try to live saved, it's, it's exhausting. Yeah, ain't, see, I told y'all I'm going to be one of the realest people you ever meet. I ain't going to be something. I'm, I'm saved all day. Trying to live saved is hard. You ever tried to live saved all day? Why you get home, you don't even want to eat. You just so, you've been so tired. You was hungry and tired. You're like, I'm too tired to even make a sandwich. I'm, I'm getting in the bed. I'm just tired. You get up again and try to get the next day. You try. You can't even make it a whole week. You ain't even gonna make it to Wednesday trying to live saved. Because here's the thing. God did not design you to live saved on your own. When he saved you, he planted in you the seed of the spirit. And he wants you to live by his spirit. And when you let the spirit take control, that's how you live saved. You can't live saved on your own. That's why they think we mean. Did you tired? you? They caught you on Thursday. You like, I, you should have been around me on Sunday, on, on, on Sunday or Monday because I had a little bit of strength. But now I'm tired. I've been doing this all week. Smiling at you, I'm tired. <laughs> you got to understand that the Spirit, God gave us the Spirit, gave us the Holy Spirit more than just so that we can dance and speak in tongues. He gave us the Spirit to, to enable us, to equip us, to empower us, so that we, we go out into the world, we can live right. See, it's the spirit. See, y'all ain't gonna talk to me. Can I be real, real quick? See, you ain't got the power. Watch this. When you get in a compromising situation, when you get ready to do wrong, and whatever it means to you, I ain't got the 
to go down the list unless y'all act like you don't know what I'm talking about. But, but, but you get in a compromising situation. You don't have the willpower to get yourself out of that. Y'all want to help me preach? See, since y'all going to be quiet, I, I, some of y'all ain't saying nothing, but if we tell the truth, some of y'all, if you had the willpower to get out of the situation, you wouldn't be somebody's parent right now. Thank God for the child, but I'm just talking about you ain't got the strength to get yourself out. All right, just, just, just one more minute. I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave in a minute. I'm going to leave in a minute. I'm going to leave. Which minute are you going to leave? Because it don't take but a minute. Oh, Lord Jesus. I told you I was real. That's why you have to rely on this Holy Spirit, this Holy Ghost. Because the Holy Ghost will give you the power. Have you ever been in a situation where you're going to compromise? But you heard God talking to you. Tell uh -uh, don't go in that house. Don't go. No, no, no. Get up. Get your stuff. Leave right now. God ain't going to talk back to me in here. But it's the spirit that gives you the strength to walk away. Stop using the Holy Ghost just to shout. Stop using the Holy Ghost just to prove how deep you are. Use the Holy Ghost to live right. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I guess I was talking to the church folk. Uh, listen, you need power. You need, because you never tell them, you need the power. So, 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 let me see how I can tell you this. I'm going to tell you this. Okay, watch. How many of y'all watch the Super Bowl? Some of y'all are lying. Like, would y'all please? We're going to do altar call in about five minutes. How many of y'all watch the Super Bowl? It's 103 million watching all over the world. Some of y'all like, I ain't watching. And some of the women, y'all know y'all watched it. Not because you wanted to watch it. Not because y'all like football. Like, not that you might like it, but all. Y'all watched the Super Bowl, why? Because Beyonce was performing at halftime. And so you suffered through the game. Y'all ain't helping me preach. You suffered through the game, especially the second quarter, so that you can watch B perform. Y'all gonna, y'all gonna help me? Y'all, I, I, I wish they'd hurry up and run this clock down. Stop! I wish they'd stop passing the ball and run it so the clock will run out, so that Beyonce can get on the stage. I got on that stage and I watched it too. Y'all talk about me at the church, tweet it, put it on Facebook. I watched it. I wanted to see Beyonce, and I was watching it with my wife. Okay, thank you, Jesus, for the gift of Beyonce knows. Eh? That girl was doing her thing out there, singing all them songs and. She was, she was getting it. I don't care what you say. We watched it for a little bit. Then she went back. Brought out Destiny's Child. I'm an independent woman. I'm a survivor. She was saying all them songs. Having a good time on that stage. Doing her thing. Then I was laughing to myself. I even tweeted it. It was almost like, all right, y'all get off the stage and I ain't finished. Did y'all see how she dismissed them? Yes, she did. Like, all right, hurry up, get off, get off. And she went back into singing. And I kept watching, and all of a sudden, it was like six Beyonce's on the stage. And I thought, I was like, something wrong with my TV. And I'm looking, I'm like, how did, I said, how did we get that many Beyonce's at one time? She had holograms and stuff, and People playing guitar, guitar, seemed like it should have been exploding because it was fire coming out of both ends and Beyonce was doing her thing. Halftime show was incredible. One of the best ones I ever seen. Y'all acting like I'm the only one, okay. Oh, I get it. The men are sitting close to their wife can see you. I didn't. Okay, I get it. All right. One of the best ones I ever seen. Third quarter started. They ran a kickoff back. The next thing I know, I'm like, what is going 
going on? It's dark in here. I remember that the stadium was dark for like 45 minutes. And, and, and the first thing you start seeing on Twitter and on Facebook, everybody start blaming Beyonce. Beyonce running so much power in the stadium. Y'all ain't, come on. She, she done took all the power. Now we can't even, so all the men and men, the women that went to bed, I'm going to bed, Beyonce. I saw what I wanted to see. Now the men want to get back to the game and we mad. I'm like, come on, man, it's, it's almost 12 o'clock. Y'all need to turn this game back on. No power in the stadium. They blame Beyonce. But I found something out. Because while they was trying to blame Beyonce, so they was they, they was asking the wrong question. It, it shouldn't have been why did Beyonce take all the power in the stadium? It should have been why don't we have enough power? Because let me tell you what I, what I found out. Beyonce she ain't used their power. Y'all can catch what I'm power. saying. She had her own power. Beyonce it, 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 it's such a it's such a, a high roller. That she brought her own generator to the stadium. So just in case the stadium lost power, Beyonce like, no, no, I got my own power. And that's what I'm trying to tell you today. Just in case the folk that you roll with, they run out of power. You have to learn how to roll with your own power. And just in case the world's power fails me, I don't need nothing from you. Because I got power from on high. I don't need to plug into what you got because I'm already plugged in. Tell your neighbor, I'm already plugged in. I don't need... That's what I'm trying to tell somebody today. You got to be born again. Because that's the case the world's power run out. That's the case the world run out of money and run out of stuff. What you got to know is I'm still plugged into God. I still... That's why I still got my joy. my own power. I'm done. I, I done preached longer than I told y'all I was going to preach. Everybody stand. Everybody stand. That's what it means to be a Christian. That's what it means to be saved. And when they run out of power, you still got it. You still got it. Do I have anybody in the house? I, you still got your power. I lost a lot of stuff, but I still got my power. Get ready for it.